it's Kerr 9000 back with some of my recent retro purchases again. I've got a cartridge of 1080 snowboarding for the N64 for three pounds. Yeah, I already own it if you've watched my N64 collection videos, but don't let a good game get away cheap. US Gold Super Kickoff, and it's manual and cart and everything. That was two pound fifty. And then I've got Wimbledon for the Master System, which is cart and manual and everything. And my favourite out of these last few, Road Avenger for the Mega CD. This cost me £6 and the disc, or whether you'll see it on camera or not, is absolutely immaculate. And it's got its manual and it's just in really tip-top condition considering its age. I've got Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2 complete for a pound. Which, you know, you probably see quite a few of, but... It's a game you see a lot scratched up, and this wasn't in bad condition at all. I got Top Spin for the Xbox for 50p, and what I really love with this is not only has it got the manual, but it's got your fold out leaflets showing all your various games. Something weird I've noticed on YouTube, not YouTube, sorry, on uh, eBay recently is people selling these sort of warranty cards and leaflets for a few pounds. I just think it's absolutely crazy. They're a cool extra if you get them, but I don't think they're really worth money as such. There's a uh, Enduro Racer for the Master System. I paid five pounds for that and it's complete. And then I got a nice little bundle of Game Boy goodness for 20 pounds. There's a Wave Race for the original Game Boy. The uh, Game Boy Gallery. Two copies of Robot Wars for the Game Boy Color. MTV's Ultimate BMX. Championship Motocross 2001. Army Men. Rainbow Six. Shrek Fairy Tale Beatdown, I think it's called. And the Powerpuff Girls, and just to end it, the last one I got was a Game Boy Advance game, and it's High Heat Major League Baseball 2002. So that's all my recent retro purchases. It's Kerr 9000 signing out. Thanks for watching.